Chapter 1 Reproduction in Plants Plants are living things. They play important role in our lives. They provide us lots of things like food, sugar, oil, tea, coffee, wood, fibers, rubber, gum and spices. They also give us oxygen for breathing. Reproduction in Plants The process by which living organisms produce new organisms of the same kind is called reproduction. Most of the plants reproduce through seeds. Some plants also reproduce through stems, roots and leaves. Structure of Seed A seed is a part of plant that helps the plant to produce more individuals of its own kind. Generally, seeds are found inside fruits. New plants grow from seeds. Let us study the structure of a kidney bean seed. Seed coat. It is an outer covering that protects the baby plant inside. Seed hole. It allows water to enter the seed. Cotyledons. It stores food for the baby plant. Embryo. It grows into a baby plant. Dispersal of seeds. The scattering of seeds away from the parent plant is called dispersal of seeds. Dispersal of seeds is necessary for the better growth of plants. Seeds are dispersed by wind, water and animals including human beings. These are called the agents of dispersal. Some seeds also get dispersed by explosion of fruits. Methods of dispersal of seeds Dispersal by wind Some seeds are light and have hair or wing-like structures on them. They are dispersed by wind. For example, cotton and dandelion seeds have fine hair and are easily carried away by wind. Maple seeds have wings. Dispersal by water Seeds of plants near water and aquatic plants have some special features. For example, the seeds of lotus are spongy while the coconut seeds have fibrous covering. Such features help them to float on water. They get dispersed to far off places with water current. Dispersal by explosion Some fruits like poppy, balsam, pea and bean burst open, scattering the seeds away from the plant. Dispersal by animal Seeds of some plants have hooks or spikes that stick to animals and are dispersed. For example, seeds of cockle burr. Many times animals and human beings also disperse Seeds by throwing them far away after eating fruits. Reproduction by seeds Germination of seeds The growth of a baby plant, embryo, within a seed to form seedling, young plant is called germination. When seeds get enough water, air and sunlight, warmth, they grow into new plants. In the beginning, the seedling gets its food from the cotyledons. Air reaches the seed through pores in the soil. The roots come out first and grow downwards into the soil. Later, the shoot comes out from the embryo and grows upwards towards sunlight. Seedling gets water and nutrients from the soil. Newly formed leaves prepare the food for the plant. The seed gets water, air and warmth. Seed coat swells up, breaks and the baby plant grows. Roots and shoot developed in baby plant and form seedling or young plant. The young plant grows and leaves develop. Reproduction through other parts Roots, stems and leaves are called vegetative parts of a plant. Therefore, the method of growing plants from their vegetative parts is called vegetative propagation. Reproduction through roots Plants like carrot, sweet potato, turnip, radish, dahlia store food in their roots. Roots of these plants can grow new plants. Reproduction through underground stem Potato, ginger and onion are underground stems of plants. They can grow into new plants. A potato has buds on it, called eyes. 
a part of potato bearing an eye can grow into a new plant reproduction through stem some plants like rose hibiscus and money plant can be grown from stem cutting the plant from which the stem cutting is obtained is called the mother plant this stem cutting is planted in the soil after a few days it grows into a new plant reproduction through leaves some plants like bryophyllum have buds on the edges margins of their leaves on keeping such leaves in moist soil these buds grow into new plants begonia also reproduces through its leaves reproduction through spores plants like ferns grow through spores their spores are found on the underside of leaf fungi like mushroom and bread mold also grow from spores agriculture the practice of growing plants on a large scale for food and other purposes is called agriculture in india agriculture is practiced since ancient times there are various steps followed in agriculture steps of agriculture various steps of agriculture are given here plowing the field is plowed plowing means to dig and turn over a field with the help of a plow it makes the soil loose manuring to enrich the soil with nutrients manures and chemical fertilizers are added to the soil it is called manuring sowing seeds are sown by various means irrigation grown plants are irrigated irrigation means to supply water to an area of land through pipes or channels so that the crop will grow spraying pesticides the crop is sprayed with chemicals to protect it from pests these chemicals are called pesticides harvesting the crop is cut and gathered which is called harvesting crops plants that are grown in large quantities for food or other purposes are called crops the practice of agriculture helps to grow crops crops that are grown from june to october are called kharif crops these crops depend on the monsoon rains for example rice maize and cotton are kharif crops crops that are grown from november to april are called rabi crops These crops do not depend on the monsoon rains. For example, wheat, gram and pea are rabi crops. How to produce healthy crop? Loosen the soil properly. Add manure or fertilizers to the soil. Use healthy and ripe seeds for sowing. Irrigate the soil. Use pesticide to protect from pests. bigger animals can be kept away by proper fencing after harvesting grains need to be protected against moisture the grains have to be kept safe from rats moles birds etc